Happy St George's Day. And to celebrate, I'm going to look at the work of the English painter William Turner, who I admire incredibly. Um, you'll know that name, he is a very famous artist. I mean, this one here, for instance, an oil painting, Fighting Temerara. Uh, and look at that romantic, gorgeous sky. And then here, a watercolour um, of a scene down in near Lyme Regis in Dorset. And I have one more, which is an engraving of the same scene. And uh, this one caught my eye, beautiful engraving of fishing boats coming in during this violent storm. And this is Turner's, you know, his, his mastery of, of light and the way that he uses that dramatic effect. So I've rightly drawn up a, um, a piece here. And there you can see this, how Turner uses this composition, this incredibly heavy thunderous sky coming in um, over this over the land there is Lyme Regis as was and then there's this shipping this uh, fishing boat you know trying to come in with its catch and these people risking their lives to to get it now what I've done here is I've just prepped up very lightly and I'm going to this is very difficult to do because we're going you know watercolor who knows what could happen so uh, we will see so I'm going to just lightly put in the same, t similar sort of tones that he was using. Um, and it's going to run a little bit, uh, but I want that nice sort of fluid. I'm going back to the water and I don't want to, and then I'm going to move up to here, like I say, lovely little sort of tones um, back to the water again so I'm adding more water in a sense than the natural color because I don't want it to become too rich so that's quite a, a fairly good start and then over here we got this incredible thunderous so I'm going to be brave with this and uh, I've mixed up some Color earlier and wish me luck here we go so we get this lovely sort of sweep coming into the painting and I'm going to bring in these really big broad strokes maybe a bit richer up at the top um, and now I'm going back to the back to the watercolor back to the water and just see where we go with that it doesn't matter if it's run that's okay i like that anyway <laughs> i like that the little accidents that happen and um, i'm probably not going to add any more to that at the moment because i'm going to build that up with more detail later um, now i'm back to the, the landscape so you've got to look at the light and the dark and the mid-tones this area here really rich and dark uh, and silhouetting the fishing boat um, so I'm going to put in a little bit of the, the landscape in different tones. Uh, a little bit more up there and so on. And that is the beginning, like I say, um, the beginning of a study loosely <laughs> inspired by the work of uh, Turner. Um, and I promise to finish this and tidy it up um, but I'm just putting in little washers and creating different depths and so on. Um, quite like what's happening in there, that's quite nice, that granulation there. Don't like this hard line here at the moment or that so I'm going to grab the brush a little and I'm just going to soften that out. Because that doesn't that looks too architectural i think for for that sky but um it's building up and then down here let's just get rid of those i haven't used any tissue to take anything away at the moment but i'm just building up so um 
that's my little uh, homage or uh, you know, exercise to the mastery of uh, Turner, but like I say, he's a genius. Um, but uh, it's great fun to do, and um, give it a go. Enjoy.